Hey guys, welcome back to another online plant shop vlog. This is a series on my channel where I take you guys all behind the scenes of me running my plant store from my one bedroom apartment. I'm in the greenhouse right now and as you can see the lights are still not on. I have smart lights in my greenhouse and my Ikea cabinets and I usually have them set to turn on at 8 a.m. but on the weekends I like to set them for 11 a.m. So that I can try to sleep in. However, I did not sleep in today. <laughs> I'm actually up early, so I'm just gonna turn on the lights myself. If you have a greenhouse or an IKEA greenhouse, I highly recommend that you guys get smart timers for your light so you don't have to be manually going and clicking the button to turn them on. I use the Casa Smart Plugs. I will have them linked in my bio. And then I just use this app on my phone, the Casa app, to turn the lights on automatically or you can go and manually press it like that. So I have a few things that I need to get done in these next few days. I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. I have to pick out all of the plants in here that have sold over the week so that we can ship them out on Monday. So I'm going to go through and pick out all the plants in here so that they are just set aside and ready to go. I'm also going to straighten up in here a little bit. It's pretty clean, um, but a few things just need to be like put back in order. I have to put the humidifier on, stuff like that. Other than that, that's probably all that it's going to be like plant related. Um, these next few days so I apologize about that since this vlog is more focused on the business aspect I have a lot of other little things that I need to do I know that I'm expecting a few packages this week I think I'm actually expecting some inventory stuff coming in this week and I do have a few like uh, business supplies coming and something that I really really want to do this week actually is organize the plant supply closet and my business supply closet. I want to organize my desk so it's a little bit more useful for me when I'm printing out my orders and doing like business stuff and inventory things on the computer. So I want to do that. That's pretty much it. So let's just get started. I'm going to pick out all the plants in here and then I'm going to just straighten up. We've sold so much plants um, in these last like two, three weeks. So everything is a little bit sparse. Um, I have a few things in here that also sold this week so i'm going to pick those out right now so we just have them um everything is already watered and then i guess i'm just going to go through and just you know pick off some of the yellowing leaves um random stuff like that um i also have to pack a little gift for my boyfriend's sister it's her housewarming so um she also collects plants and she really likes allocations and since I have this one uh, allocation Jacqueline left, I'm just gonna give it to her because I know that she wants it and she probably can take much better care of it than I can, clearly. <laughs> it's only down to two leaves, so I'm gonna take this off of our shop and I'm gonna give it to her, so I'm gonna box it up for her as well. So let's get to it. these plants here in the bin and then everything else is actually pretty clean in here like I said there's really nothing even in here at this point <laughs> we are planning on doing a wholesale greenhouse um, trip so that we can get inventory for the for the shop and since you guys really enjoyed the last one where I took you guys with us um, I'm definitely gonna take you guys again and we're gonna see what they have um, I was looking at the availability list. They have some really nice stuff this time around. So I'm super excited to get more inventory because like I said, we don't really have anything left in here, which is awesome. But I want to make sure that I get some stuff um, to last us through the whole month of November coming up. So look out for that vlog. That'll be coming um, within the next two to three weeks. All right, so I'm just going to straighten up a little bit and fill the humidifier and then we can move on to some other organization stuff that I have planned for today. So I'm just boxing up the plant for my boyfriend's sister. Um, her and her fiance just bought a house. I wanted to give his sister this 
alocasia jacqueline because she's an alocasia lover hopefully she's not neglecting her plants because she does that sometimes michelle you better not be neglecting these freaking plants <laughs> i think now that she has a house she'll focus on her plants a little bit more because <laughs> she'd be so lazy but she's been definitely eyeing the jacqueline so i want to give it to her so I'll just put this in here I'm gonna just put paper around it so it doesn't move around in the car. There, should be good. Yeah, that should be good. Also gonna give her a little card. It has our sticker on her, our shop sticker on it, but she's gonna be all right. So this is her little plant. I know she's gonna be so hyped to see it. Can't wait to give that to her today. I ordered a bunch of supplies on Amazon and some other stores. I had to get some refills of some of the packing things that I use. I got more of the stretch wrap. I talked about this in my last video about how I pack plants. Um, I use this just to wrap the plants really tightly so that the soil doesn't go everywhere. So I got one more roll of this. I had to restock on these gloves. I use these gloves in my product photos when I'm taking pictures of the plants or anything else and I have to hold it. I just like the look of having the gloves on versus like my just like my plain hands. So I use those for that and I also sometimes use these for like cleaning and stuff like that. So I kind of have two uses out of these. I bought a new sticker roll in this greenish blue color. It's more green in person, but on camera, it seems like it's a little bit more tur turquoisey. I got this because I wanted a different color. I have the pink ones right now. They're, these ones are a little bit smaller. I found that the pink ones, I ordered them a little bit too big. I wanted like to alternate um, different stickers. So I'm going to make a new sticker design for these ones and keep my other design for the pink ones and just alternate them. I make my own stickers myself. Um, using canva i like being able to make my own logos and stickers and doing all of my graphics i just really like to be close to that so i'm gonna spend some time this week and try to come up with a sticker design or maybe several different sticker designs and like alternate them and stuff like that so i have these i also bought these stickers they are just white um plain labels that you can use in the printer machine that I use or I can even write on them and the idea um, that I want to use these for is for when I'm labeling all the plants I would like to just write the plant name on here and stick it on the pot because right now I'm using these like plant tags I have like a whole bunch of these from like other like random like plant item purchases and stuff like that so I'm just trying to use them but I usually write the plant um, here and like the number it is here and stick it in the pot but I like the idea of having these stickers specifically because I can use it for that and I can use it as a um, actual label or sticker for something else that I can use in my thermal printer. So I can use this for like organization things like around my house or even for the plants or anything or making a sticker out of it, anything I want. So I got a whole bunch of these. And then these are just a whole bunch of plain white envelopes. I recently made new business cards and they didn't come with envelopes this time like my last business card did. These are my new business cards. These are in a four by six. Um, they have a glossy finish on the front and then the back is like a matte back. I put these in all of my orders and then I print out a four by six sticker that has like a note on it and it goes on the back and then I put it inside of an envelope and like I said this one it didn't come with envelopes this time um so I needed to make sure I bought four by six envelopes so that's what I did there is this crooked is that crooked wow they cut these all crooked that makes me so irritated if you're wondering about the design, I design all of my graphics myself. So I made my own logo, like I said before, using Canva. And then I made this whole design also on Canva. And then I just upload the design on Staples website. You can choose how big you want it, the type of paper, all that stuff. And then it's usually ready in the same day. And it was, so I like using Staples. Um, they do an okay job. I'm looking at this car specifically and it's kind of making me irritated because it's not 
straight like they didn't cut it straight it's definitely crooked so hopefully they're all not like that but it's not that big of a deal but i've never had them cut it so crooked for me before but yeah i use staples staples to um get this printed This is little Piper. You're wondering why she's got this donut on her head. It's because she's got something going on. So the donut um, is kind of like a cone that stops her from bothering herself. This is just our other desk that we have in our living room. I just pushed it against um, our patio door right here. So that's outside. She likes to lay on it. So I put her blanket, <laughs> I put her blanket up on here because she likes to lay up here and look out of the window. Um. I recently got new stickers I showed you guys. I got these like teal green ones. These go in my thermal printer and I can print anything I want on them. Um, the thermal printer prints only in black so it's nice to get colored stickers so that you can have like a nice colored background or something like that. So I made some stickers last night. I made some for Halloween and then just another just basic one. So let me show you the Halloween one. All right, so these are the Halloween ones. I put three little cats on there because you guys know that I have three cats. Um, I just thought it was super cute with the little pumpkins and the cats. I think they're so cute. So I only made a couple of these, but if I need more, I can always make more. But I'm just gonna use these for the remaining of the month of October. And then I'll probably make another one just for November with just regular like pumpkins, um, not like the Halloween pumpkins. These are the other ones I made just for like basic ones um, so that I can switch out the pink for a little bit with these. I put the little monstera leaf on these and I make all my stickers on Canva and then just print it out. My little Piper. This girl's so adorable, you guys, but she does not get along with the other two cats at all like they all like do not like her because she's mean <laughs> she's nice to people she's mean to other cats she like bullies um evie the gray cat she bullies the hell out of her like she'd be like fighting her and stuff she's a sweet girl <laughs> she's a silly girl i want to try to incorporate more of the the cats in our videos so that you guys can see them it's always nice seeing the fur babies right hey bye so I'm in my living room right now. Um, I just actually got a big delivery to my door of these two big boxes. Um, I already briefly opened one just to make sure I knew what it was. I've been working with um, several different vendors so that I can bring um, plant pots and some other fun stuff to the website for you guys. And I finally got one of the shipments. So I'm so excited to show you guys. This one back here, I already started opening. So I'll go through that one first. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one. And for the record, I am wearing shorts. You just can't see it. I don't want you to think that I'm naked, but I'm not. So this is one of the boxes. And I'm so excited about this, you guys. Like, oh my goodness. Look at all these pots. So I got a whole bunch of different pots in different styles and sizes. Um, this is one of them, you can see here. This one is freaking amazing. It is such good quality too. Look at all the drainage and then there's extra drainage slits like on the side. I think this one is about five and a half maybe. It says it's 14 centimeters, but I like how deep it is. You can see. So I got this style. I got some regular crown pots in different sizes as well. Um, let me see. Okay. Oh my God, you guys, the quality is so good. This is, this is amazing. Okay. So this is like a four inch pot. I believe that I got four, five, and six inch for the standard. And then I just got the one bigger one in that design. So we have the four inch here. You guys, this took forever to get here. <laughs> Just saying, when you're buying wholesale, it takes forever. Okay. This looks like a five inch. Yeah, so this is the five inch. And they're like, really like sturdy, you guys. 
Um, and then I definitely ordered sixes. I don't know if they're in this box or if they're just in that box, so we'll see. And where am I gonna keep this, you guys? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> but I needed tons and tons of pots on hand for inventory, so it works out for me. And for you guys, one has more of the four inch and it looks like it has the sixes as well. Yeah. Wow, how freaking nice are these, you guys? How awesome. Love this. Can't wait to get photos of these for the site and get them up. Hopefully I can get them up this week. It's freaking amazing. I'm so excited. There's so many. is my little cook she is also working for her little biscuit business making us all the biscuits <laughs> right now I'm just packing up an order it's a non-plant order so I can ship it today with non-plant orders I am able to ship every single day pretty much one just includes some soil mix and some plant pots so I'm gonna pack it up now I have it set up on my little photo station right now because I'm trying to record some more reels and TikToks um, focused on me just packing it's a huge trend to see small businesses pack um, their products and stuff I did one recently and it kind of blew up on YouTube as a short so I just wanna to continue to try to um, do a few orders here and there, just so I can have some content for the Instagram and TikTok and the shorts. So I'm gonna pack this one up and I'm gonna put you guys to the side so you can see what I'm doing. This is everything all packed up, ready to go. I swear, doing these type of reels and TikToks, they're like great because like I said, they're super trendy, but they like take a long time. Like this, I could have just quickly boxed up, but it's taking me forever and I'm literally sweating because I have like six lights on. Oh my God, it's like, it just takes so long doing like a freaking 10 second video, it's crazy.
I just got in a bunch of packing materials and supplies. I have so much boxes and stuff that I ordered and now I have to figure out where everything's gonna go. These boxes right here, these are 12 by 12 by 12. That's this one and this one. I actually bought these ones on Staples this time instead of Uline. Um, the reason I went through Staples is because they actually offer free shipping compared to Uline where they want to charge you like 50 to 60 dollars that's just like way too much money so I paid a little bit more per box but I spent less in shipping I got these from there and then I got a new box of polyfill the stuffing that I used for the plants um that fluffy stuffing stuff so I get this on Amazon and sometimes I can get this exact same stuff from the recycling company that I work with as well I even have some here in my room now I have to figure out some type of way in my packing closet on how to get everything in here this is just an extra closet in my bedroom that I have that we don't use so I use it for all the packing stuff if you're a small business I recommend you figure out a place where you can keep all your packing supplies like your boxes because they take up so much space and like packing peanuts and stuff like that already have some boxes in here already and then I have this big thing of packing peanuts and then I have some other like different types of polyfill and then these are all the boxes that I save from like Amazon and stuff like that I try to reuse all that stuff too I'm gonna try to fit everything in here now I got everything in the closet it's not the best organization system but it's in there that's all I care about um, I'm gonna have have to definitely redo it a bit because I'm getting more of these um, USPS priority boxes in some of the smaller sizes probably in the next like week or so since I use priority mail I do get the free USPS mailing boxes from their website since I'm a business and then for the 12 by 12 by 12 boxes I do have to buy those um, they do not make a 12 by 12 by 12 box one thing I do recommend if you are outsourcing your boxes meaning you're not getting them directly from UPS or USPS is that you measure those boxes when you get them and the reason I say that is because sometimes sellers will say that boxes are 12 by 12 by 12, but when you get them, in reality, they're like 12.25 by 12.50 by 13. If you're saying that you're shipping a 12 by 12 by 12 box, even though it's not technically, you will get a charge back. Um, I don't know when you'll see it, but you definitely will get charged back. Once the box is over 12 by 12 by 12, it's a huge difference in shipping and it's very expensive. So just make sure you're measuring your boxes if you are outsourcing them other than USPS and UPS because you do not want to be getting charged back on you know your prepaid labels and stuff like that I've had a hell of a last few days um so I apologize if there's not that much going on about the plants I've just been very very busy in my personal life I've got some things that that happened over the weekend that's very sad and that has me all over the place I'm very tired and I'm just trying to push through um, what I have going on and trying to continue running my business and do other things that I have to do so I'm sorry if it's not all plants and fun and stuff like that it's just really really hard right now in my personal life so I hope you guys can understand but hopefully the next vlog is better and I hope that you guys still enjoyed watching um, throughout the week and the packing and stuff like that so I'm gonna go edit this video now so thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around behind the scenes when I show you guys everything um, I hope that you guys are enjoying it and I will see you guys in my next video bye